Welcome to Mr. Way's Science 8 class. We're starting the year virtually, so I wanted to give you a little tour of our Canvas classroom and walk you through our first day together. If you're watching this video, you've already found my class and you've already found the click here day one button. This red button won't always be here, but the other five buttons always will. I'll only use the big red buttons when I have something to announce that's out of the ordinary. Now, while we are virtual, some things are going to be a little different, but they're not going to be different like they were last spring. The first thing that's going to be different is at the beginning of your normally scheduled class period. So if you're in second period, it goes from 816 to 916. So at 816, you would come and click on the conferences button to join us for a group conference. Anytime after the conference during your normal science class or whenever you have time to pay proper attention to your science work, you'll do that by clicking the current work button. If you ever get a little behind, the past work button is going to be there to show you all of the work, not just what we're currently working on in case you need to make something up. For parents, there's an information button here for you. And you all should share this with your parents because they're going to know about it anyway. And it's going to give them some useful ways to help you during the school year. Now, I also have some supports for you, you as students underneath class information. Let's go ahead and click that class information button now. It's going to take you to this page. You can see, see that you still have your homepage button, and no matter where you go on Canvas, you're always going to have that homepage button to get back to where we just were. We're going to have a short description of the class, but you're also going to notice several buttons. There's going to be a button for parent information that's the same as the one on the homepage. There's going to be the place that I'll put this video in case you need to look at it later. There's going to be a link to the academic plan, which will tell you what we're going to learn about and when this year. And then there's a link to expectations that we'll be going over tomorrow that'll tell you about attendance, communication, and grades. If you ever just need plain old help, this virtual student button is going to be your place to get it as a student. It has resources not only for help with the science course, but for help with Canvas, for help in understanding what you need to do this year, for help in knowing how you can ask for special accommodations, and it gives you the instructions on how to ask for help with your device. Let's click back on our homepage button now. Now that we're back at the homepage, we're gonna see what it looks like to log into our conferences each day. Remember, you need to look and see what time your class period starts and log in during that class period. I'll post that information underneath the class information for you tomorrow to take a look at. Once you've clicked conferences, say you're in second period, it's 816, which is the beginning of that class. You're going to click a button over here that instead of start, it's going to say join. You're going to have a button right here that will say join. And you'll join that and that's going to take you to our Canvas conference, which is what I will be using all year for conferences. Conferences won't be available until I hit this start button and they won't be available after I hit the end button. So if you're in fifth period and it's second period, your conference will not be available. You can't come to another class's conference. Down here where it says concluded conferences, any portions that I recorded of old conferences will be available for you for two weeks in case you need to use them for a review. After two weeks, they'll be deleted. We clicked the home page button, which again, you can always find right here and went back to our home page. Now that we have spent about 10 minutes conferencing to begin the day, we're now going to spend the rest of our science class clicking current work. Let's click current work now. Once you've clicked current work, you're going to see three buttons within current work. The first button is zones, and we'll talk about that a little later in the week, but that's just going to be a way to tell me how you're feeling. The second one is vocabulary, and that's where you'll do your daily vocabulary work. And we'll talk about that probably Wednesday or Thursday this week. And the third button is coursework, and that's where your assignments, quizzes, reading, videos, any information will be posted using Canvas modules. If there's ever a reason that as a remote student, you can't participate during the normal school day, 
You can click and see my policy for how that's going to be handled and how we can be flexible for you and your family by clicking this link to look at the situational adjustment disclaimer. Remember, unless I've heard from you, the expectation is going to be that you're there for our regularly scheduled class period. Let's go ahead and click coursework now so we can introduce ourselves. Once you click coursework, it's going to take you to the first module of the year. If you see a box like this that starts with a gray heading, that's a module. And this module only has one assignment in it, and that's the Introduce Your to Self Discussion Board. Some modules will have multiple assignments and require you to go through them in order from top to bottom. If the text is dark black like it is here, you'll be able to click on to that assignment. If it's gray, it means you have to finish something up above that first. We're going to end this video now, and I'd like you to go to the home page where you might already be, and then you're going to click Current Work, Coursework, and it'll take you to these modules. Let's go do that now and introduce yourself in this discussion board. I'll introduce myself to you a little bit more tomorrow.